take your aim to the next level. Stick around. Squeal, boy, squeal! So in this video, we'll be installing the Target Practice 2K4. This is the README file that actually will be included in the download. Um, as you can see from the intro, it's a drone gun that we deploy, and it will shoot random shock cores. Um, and it also has some other things for an onslaught and for a lightning gun. I will have the link in the description of this video, so don't worry about getting the URL right now. Did run a virus scan on the download. Uh, this is the MD5 hash checksum, the file that I used. It came up clean, and so let's get started. On the left here, the left pane is my UT installation folder. On the right is my downloads. Uh, just like before in our last video, we're going to right-click and we're going to extract. Double click and go in. We only need system contents, but you can copy both. I was going to control and click on each. Right click, copy, come back over here, click, right click, and paste. Now it's going to again give me the alert that the files are already there, which is right. I'm just overwriting the existing because I've already got it installed. You probably want to go through and adjust your weapons to make life easier. So come in, on weapons, and you'll see. I normally have my lightning and shock here. One thing I would recommend doing is click on practice lightning gun. Move this up, you'll see why. I'm going to click on shock rifle and I'm going to move that up near my normal shock rifle as well. Doesn't matter if it's above or after, they're not going to be in the game. But at least now when I click on lightning gun, I can see what cursor I'm using. And then come over to this lightning gun, you'll see it's different. So I want to use the same cursors that I'm using. So that's why I put them here, that way I can quickly toggle back and forth to double check the colors and the sizing here to adjust them both. So for example, lightning gun, I'm using Chaos Adon. So I'll come in here and click that guy. That looks about the same. And for the shock rifle, I would do the same thing. Let's go ahead and configure and learn how we can actually run this mutator we just installed. I could click on Instant Action, click on FNG Training Grounds, Game Rules. I suggest using Zero Botch for now. You can always add them later if you like. Mutators, uh, go to Target Practice, click on Add. Now, if you'd like, while we're here, we might as well just talk about this. You can actually configure some of the options. The defaults will be fine for most people. Simply click on the configure mutators down below on the bottom right and click on open. Just a bunch of things. You can go through them and play with it. To begin, let's just click play. Play. Okay, as usual, I'll type loaded. I will also turn on God mode. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll come to about here. I'll click a gun that is not my shock rifle, like the link. I'll click the fire button, and that'll deploy the drone. One thing you'll notice is that in the middle of my screen, once I deploy it, there'll be a bunch of statistics in the left-hand side of my screen about halfway up the height of the monitor. I'm going to click now to deploy the drone. Fire button. Select my shock rifle. I'm going to move back a little bit. It's a little loud. Okay, so now to turn the drone off, what I'll do is I'll select my link gun, and I'll click the primary fire again, and now the drone recalled. So I'll come to about here. Now what I do is I put it back this way, so that I'm going to be standing over where that ramp is sliding. That way I will not see the uh, where the drone is actually going to be shooting. Select my shock rifle. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.